Yo guys, how's it going? I came out here today. We're gonna be cleaning up the 125 here after the first, technically second, but first ride here. Uh, overall, it's actually looking pretty clean. A little dusty here and there, but we're still gonna go through the entire wash wash procedure here. And I'm gonna go a little further to uh, make sure everything's nice and clean while everything's all fresh. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy wash today. Nothing too muddy. Um, chain's a little messy, but that's fine. Uh, we'll swap out the air filter. The oil's fine. Uh, oil only has a few hours on it, or two rides. But uh, yeah, everything's looking good so far, so uh, yeah, let's get to washing this thing. Alright guys, so I'm not going to really be uh, running through each and every step. Uh, I've already made a video on how to wash a dirt bike. Uh, if you want to see that, you can click the card that appears in, I believe, the top right of the screen, top left or right. But uh, yeah, if you want a more in-depth tutorial, on how I clean my dirt bikes, check out that video. But uh, yeah, today I'm just gonna kinda run through it all. I'm not really gonna explain anything. First, I'm gonna start off by taking off the seat and air filter and uh, putting on a wash cover by Twin Air. And then from there, I'll start to um, wash the bike down. And then I'll also put in an exhaust plug just to keep water from getting in the exhaust as well. Alright, we have the bike all sprayed down here, uh, just with normal water out of a garden hose. And uh, now I'm going to go through the bike and get to scrubbing with the soapy sponge. So here for the frame to uh, kind of erase these boot rub marks, I'm going to use a Prime MX cleaning pad. This is just a six inch fine pad and I'm just going to go through with some soapy water and the pad and I'm just going to kind of scuff up the frame to remove the, uh, remove the boot marks and I'm going to do the same for the clutch cover as well just so we keep that nice brushed finish and uh, yeah, I'll link in the description where you guys can get these. Alright guys, and there we go with just a little bit of scrubbing with a uh, Prime MX cleaning pad, 6 inch, and a little bit of soapy water, our frame and uh, clutch cover here look a million times better.
All right, guys, so we are all done getting the bike all cleaned up. And here, as you guys can see, it cleaned up beautifully. Nothing really we need to address on the bike right now. Everything is all good to go. Yeah, everything's all clean. Almost looks cleaner than when I first built it. Heck yeah. Now here I am gonna replace this breather hose on the gas cap because it kind of leaks a lot of gas. So I'll just go with the old style that goes back in the steering stem. I did have one of these style uh, gas cap breathers on my 85 and it worked better on that bike than it did on this bike, but that's okay, we'll get that replaced. Uh, probably find a blue one online or something the next time I make an order on uh, Rocky Mountain or Motosport or whatever. But uh, yeah, other than that, we're good to go. Um, I'd also like to get a uh, longer power valve breather hose down here just to make it cleaner. But bike really doesn't need anything. Uh, coolant's good, got a fresh filter in it, chain's all lubed up, and since this chain is new, I always go a little extra with the chain lube, but that's okay, it won't hurt anything, but just because the chain's new and we want to keep it in good condition, so uh, let's get her started up. So as it was running here, it ejected some bolts. <laughs> yep, just rattled it its way out here. Uh, focus. Oh god. Oh my god, dude, what the heck? Oh, not my hose, man. Shoot. Well guys, I got some cleaning to do. I promise you I didn't just stage that cuz uh dude come on shoot dude look at all that water alright guys so we got the 125 done here it's looking pretty clean got the chain lubed up fresh filter blood the forks all that good stuff and it is ready to go for the next ride so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video subscribe so you guys don't miss any upcoming riding videos or build videos I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.